Um, let's go ahead and move on over to some news. There hasn't really been too much sprouting up over the last three weeks, but uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, 2016's critically acclaimed Titanfall 2 faced financial and player base woes upon launch due to a myriad of factors that can pretty much basically just be blamed from EA sandwiching it, its release in between Battlefield 1 and I believe it was uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, so kind of eating their own lunch with that. Um, let's see. Uh, but players showed up in mass over the over some recent weekends, um, and there's even a free weekend for Titanfall 2 on Steam. Um, and I, there's some more people coming in to play Titanfall 2 because I guess there's some tie-in stuff going on with Apex Legends, which is a character so from the recent Apex Legends character has really intense ties to a uh, Titanfall. Like I think it's yeah, the most intense ties that she, any character has. She's had. the daughter of one of the dudes you kill. And now every time I, I I kill that dude, I will be slightly sad, but I'll also be have a smile on my face because that game's very fun to play. So it's okay. Um, um, in total, the peak amount of players within Titanfall Two eclipsed its former achievement of uh, thirteen hundred six hundred and three, and jumped over to sixteen hundred and nine uh, nine hundred seventy four. So for a game that came out back in twenty sixteen, for just like kind of like not randomly, but to jump back up and break that peak um five years later um especially since uh, especially even on pc for the most part it's been pretty dead you might get like maybe 100 200 people max but it, it was just a good excuse for me to like jump back in a titanfall and just be like yeah this game plays fucking amazing and it's a damn shame that it didn't get the um the love, the adoration, and even just like the player base that it deserved. And I, I will die on this pedestal. It has the best first person, not even first person, it has the best grappling hook in a video game period, and you can't even use it in the yes. campaign. It, it's it's multiplayer exclusive. But if they were to make like a first person Spider-Man game, I would want it control like this. I mean, especially with PC where, you know, you can just snap up and see like the corner of a building and just snap it up there and like use the actual momentum <laughs> It's not like Dying Light where you just like toss the grappling hook and he magically tosses you towards that specific point. Uh, you can use the momentum and the parkour to um, to land on buildings. You can you can hide out on this one specific map that's like in the middle of a desert. And so like the city's technically underground. You can just hang out on the top just by using the grappling hook. And it's really fucking cool. Um, uh Jose, uh, for president 2024, I'll uh, legally mandate grappling hooks in games. Every game should have them. Got my vote. That's an and, easy vote for me. Any uh, general Titanfall thoughts from the crew? Uh, I like a boy and his robot. <laughs> All I remember. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm still slightly like buzzed or something, but like all my mind could think of when you were talking about Titanfall is just a boy and his robot. Because that's all that I, that's all I remember from that game. I remember killing other robots and people, but then I just remember the dialogue options with BT and if you were mean to BT, then I was mean to you. <laughs> I don't think you can really be super mean, but you well, know like, what? You I, could not answer him and I consider that mean. That robot's yeah. talking to you. That robot's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, I don't... Him. I, I, I'll forgive you for being buzzed as long as you don't take uh, light years to respond. Nothing? No, I was waiting to take light years to respond. <laughs> <laughs> that is the uh, correct response. Yeah. Um, I almost well no, actually do, you, <laughs> and then I was like, it's not even worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind it's okay. of somewhat. Um, You're not sorry. I, I think it would be very cool if they made some kind of single player Apex Legends campaign where you're doing like some kind of parkour and like maybe there's like some robots that fall from the sky or something, but they can just make another Titan call. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's Please. what I was that, that's what I was aiming at. <laughs> Please. Like at least just make like uh, they made Frank from Apex. Like just use that sweet, sweet making Barrage's hair better money and give us a Titanfall 3. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even play Apex, and I have a Mirage pop. Like, come on. I've heard Titanfall is a very fun game. I have only really I played the demo for two. I think back when there was like a beta on PS4 right before the game came out. Um, and I think I even I don't know if it was ever if it was on PS Plus, then I have it. Otherwise, I know it's on Game Pass. And when I get that again, I'll, it'll be on there. It's one of those like forever on my backlog because I don't play a lot of first person shooters these days. But I know that that's supposed to be a really, really fun one. And I've yeah. been like wanting to play a an actually <laughs> fun first person shooter that isn't also just like an arena shooter. Yeah, I, I know for like um, Corey and Mesa aren't particularly big on first person shooters and so like when it comes to like recommending a game i'm not going to recommend like some like generic off the mill uh b tier like shooter but like if i if i had to pick these shooters from like this gen it would be like titanfall 2 and doom i'd say like look even if you're not necessarily big on this genre you're probably going to have a pretty damn good time with this mm-hmm. and i think that's just a testament to their uh overall quality also has one of the best levels in uh in a video game this generation period i guess um i don't want to say dishonored 2 ate its lunch but they do a very similar thing and they're both pretty fucking cool maybe I'm maybe trying to uh so this is kind of kind of off topic but i mentioned it in the chat i'm trying to find it yeah i found it um when the first titanfall was released or was revealed at the game awards fucking forever ago there was like this ARG they had going on where you called this number and it would give you like lore stuff about the game because it was like the company that makes the titans and stuff. Well, I still have the number on my phone. I was gonna... Call it. I was, Call I was going it. to. I was going to see if it actually. You got to make sure it's on speaker. It is on speaker. I don't know if you can. I can. I cannot hear a ring. Whoa, that's not it. <laughs> Oh, you call? Did you... oh no! It may or may not have led to a sex hotline. Okay. I don't... okay. Fun, fun fact uh, about uh, abort mission. Fun fact about that. Uh, um, typically, call when com- it again. When, when no. the, <laughs> typically, when, when companies uh, do stuff like that, they do, they buy a phone number. The only the contract for it only lasts a few years, and then it just goes back onto the market. And uh, surprise, surprise. There's a specific market that um that buys a lot of phone numbers. That's true. I was not aware of that, but like when you called it, it was like sort of like when you're calling like a like a company and it was like, "Oh, enter the <laughs> enter the like number of the party that you're trying to reach for like Hammond Robotics." which was obviously the company that made the like Titans. And if you dug around the, the website for the first Titan Titanfall, you would find numbers to put in there and you would like be calling certain like research team members and it would give you lore for the, for the first Titanfall. So like, so like the backdrop of the, of, of the game where, where it's like an army versus a rebellion and it would just give you like little lore snippets. That was incredibly cool. And like the and people were like discovering n- n- numbers and like different uh different like people in the game to to like call and give you like because like the first Titanfall had lore in it it just was hidden because it was all m- multiplayer stuff so like the fact that they did something like that was incredibly cool. I think it's crazy they even put in that effort because as much as I like the the writing between Cooper and uh, BT and Titanfall 2 story. I don't think that universe or world is necessarily, I don't want to say it's bad. It, it It's, it's good. It like, it's good for what it is, but like so much of that appeal, of that game is like <laughs> so purely on, on the gameplay uh, for with a parkour and uh, just the speed of it because nothing else on the market's really doing that. I guess you can say like infinite warfare was trying to go for that same thing, but it's, yeah 